Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm coming at you with a tutorial from the queen of neutral glam. That is the one and only Kim Kardashian. Say what you want about that girl, but she looks damn good. And today I'm going to show you how you can create a neutral glam look just like Miss Kim K herself. Stay tuned. Now you already know the key to any good makeup look is the prep. So I've applied my serum, my moisturizer, and now I'm applying the NYX photo primer this is my favorite primer I've got some concealer under my eyes so I was just starting the sealing in process I like to let my concealer sit for a while and now I'm just blending it in to my skin with a clean and damp sponge and I've decided I need to go in for some more concealer just to get that extra bit of coverage which is sometimes necessary if you have quite bad dark circles like me or issues like hyperpigmentation now I am about to use my NYX brow pencil just to comb my brows with the spoolie end and then fill in any sparse gaps. We're not going for the heavy brow look these days so I'm literally just touching really lightly onto my skin and my brow hairs just to create a natural full effect. If you do go too hard you can use a cotton bud to take away excess. Now you already know I'm super thorough with my brow process so once I've penciled in my brows I like to go over them with a clear gel and this one is from Barry M and I got it on Amazon. It's really great for just setting your brows in place and making sure none of those little bad boys fly away. Now I really wanted to go for a super flawless but really natural base so I'm actually using a liquid and a powder foundation today and um, the liquid is from Bare Minerals and it's their brightening serum. It's a super lightweight, super mineral rich formula that gives you full buildable coverage but doesn't clog your pores so it's non comedogenic which is just what you need because we're all about that skincare. As you can see here, I'm just blending out this foundation with a damp, clean sponge. It's really important that your sponge is super clean and damp. Don't try and do it on a day old beauty blender. It just won't do. Only the best for this look. Now it's time to prime your eyes for your eyeshadow look. This primer is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics and it really makes your eyeshadow last for a long time. Now I'm going in with my NYX Ultimate Edit Palette with the Warm Neutrals starting with the coolest beige that is going all over my lid to build the foundation of this eye look. Now I'm going in with a soft fluffy brush to give a subtle contour with a nice medium brown shade to define the socket but we're not going for a cut crease or anything, we're just keeping it light and breezy. Now I am prepping my eyes with this mascara from Primark, I cannot remember what it's called for the life of me but I just use it to prep my eyes before eyelash application. But before we apply our eyelashes we have to apply that eyeliner, I'm giving myself a little winged eyeliner today, a little cap liner action, you know how it goes. Now I have very sensitive skin and I find a lot of liquid eyeliners actually burn my skin but L'Oreal seems to be the brand that consistently has eyeliners that seem to agree with me so find one that is long wearing and agrees with you and don't look back sis. Now I'm back at it again with my old tricks just lining my eye with eyelash glue so that I can line the eyelashes as well and then get extra adhesion. Now it's time to set my under eye concealer and I'm just doing that with my powder foundation which is from Bare Mineral. I had a mini baking session with the powder foundation under my eye so I'm just knocking off the excess with this clean brush. I'm also setting the rest of my foundation with this extra layer of powder foundation to give me extra coverage and obviously to set the liquid too. It's really important that you use a kabuki brush when you're using powder foundations because this helps to pack on the product and you need to buff it into the skin and you can only do this with a densely packed brush which would be a kabuki brush. 
now I've slowed the video back down just to show you exactly how I'm buffing this powder foundation into my skin you really want to take your time with this don't rush buff it in so that powder melts into your skin and everything becomes like your own skin Using a bronzer from my Morphe palette just to give my face a bit more structure and warmth. When you apply all your foundation your face can feel a bit 2D so you need to add some more structure back to it with bronzer or contouring. Now I don't like to contour too much because I like my features to stay quite soft but this is one way you can do it without going full on contour. so you know we're going to highlight of course this same palette from Morphe has highlighters so we're just going to make sure we add that light to everywhere we would want the sun to hit and make shine bright like a star now it's time to bring back some warmth to under our eyes by just going in with some brown eyeshadow we're not doing a dramatic smoky under eye but we just want to bring back some shape to the overall eye you can go harder if you like a really really smoky look or for, if you want to use this for the daytime you can just go in lightly but whatever you want to do it's your choice makeup's all about fun go crazy go natural whatever it's lash time I've already applied the glue to these lashes so I was just letting them dry. These lashes are called Majestic from the EmpireBeautyCompany.com so you can cop those there. Look at the way they just finish off the look. They're kind of like lashes that I would describe as natural glam. So they have like a medium thickness to them and they are fanned out equally across the whole length of the lash. I've cut mine to fit my eye length if that is a thing. Now for the finishing touches we're creating our lip look. I am using Upgrade and Naked Truth from the My Beauty collection and I'm lining my lips with this NYX pencil in some sort of brown shade that I can't remember the name for. So we're just outlining it so we can kind of build the structure of our lips and redefine our cupid's bow. Make sure you get rid of any foundation or powder that was left on your lips so you're applying it to a fresh base. It also needs to be hydrated so make sure you've used your lip balm, your cream or whatever you need to make sure those bad boys are luscious. I'm going in with the gold shade over the whole lip. Now I'm taking the lighter shade and putting it in the centre of my whole lips, including my cupid's bow. That's going to add some real dimension to the lip look and just make your lips look even more full and luscious. almost forgot to add mascara to my bottom lashes that's really just going to open up all of your eyes don't forget this step it's a small step but it's a vital step to finishing off your look and we are pretty much done So this is the finished look guys, let me know what you think in the comments, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you smash that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Yes guys, I was feeling myself with this look, as you can see out comes the goofy me as per usual, trying to be sexy and it just goes goofy and yes I did film this in my dressing gown my purple satin dressing gown because that's just how i'm rolling take it or leave it anyway see you in the next video bye